So Graham, I'm an information security professional and I need some level of validation. Why the CISSP? Because it's got an international reputation. It's been around for a long time. It's been through many iterations. It's been reviewed, enhanced and improved over all that time. Because of this, it's globally recognised. Everybody needs to have this certification. Everybody looks to this certification. If it's not on your CV, you need it there. Why is it important to me and why is it important to my employer, most importantly? For your employer, well, your employer hires you out, whether mm. it be directly as a contractor or the company as a whole. The people he's hiring you out to want to be assured that you've got the skill set to protect their data, to protect their information. For you personally, it's your validation to the world that you know about security, that you take it seriously. And you don't just take it seriously at the workplace, but you take it seriously everywhere. Okay, so it sounds like a validation, it sounds very authentic. How do I get this? Where do I go? Well, there are a number of paths you can take. You can self-study. It's going to be difficult because you're going to have nobody to bounce questions off. I hate studying. Most people do, to be honest. And most people can't self-study. They don't have the discipline. A better route, a much better route, is a classroom environment where you will be with a group of your peers. You will have an instructor in front of the group and he will not lecture. We don't really lecture. We talk. It's not an instructional process. It's a review seminar. You will learn from your colleagues in the class. They will learn from you. And you will all learn from me. What we are attempting to do is to create a common language. That's what ISE Squared is all about. A common language. That language isn't French or Spanish or Urdu. The language is security. So that when you go back to your employment, you deal with me, I deal with you, we trust each other because we have that common understanding of what security is and how we should implement it. I hear on the grapevine that there are changes afoot to the CISSP. What does that mean? Should I panic? Oh, of course you should panic. It's a terrible exam to take, but it's not really. It requires that you think. It's a thinking exam. It's not something you can just fly your way through. The changes, where the changes are for the best, we have moved various topics so they actually span the domains. So that you start at one end and you finish at the other and you have a complete overview of all the security that you need. All very enticing. My concern, however, is this six-hour exam. That sounds like hell. To be honest, it is because I doubt you do anything for six hours continuously. Even if you go to work, you take time out to answer the phone, to write an email, to get a cup of coffee, to go to lunch. This is six hours of pure concentration. The exam questions will be a mixture, but still you have to think your way into 250 scenarios. By the time you've finished, you will be exhausted. But... There is an advantage. When you pass, you know that you've earned it. This has not been given to you. It's not an easy pass. No, definitely not. And it's not for everybody. No, it's not a difficult exam. I've always said that. It's a tricky exam. If you know security, if you know your business, if you take your time, you will pass. But it does weed out the wannabes, the players, the pretenders. This is why the CISSP has a worldwide reputation. To get the certification is no easy task.